Weep Ninny Bong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. Um, hi to anybody if you've just subscribed to my channel. Uh, thank you very much for taking an interest in what we do here. Really appreciate the support. I'm really, really excited today to bring you uh, this little review uh, on the Ghostbusters X Transformers 35th Anniversary Prime. Um, this is one that I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. So for those of you who don't know about this model, um, this version comes from as you can see i've laid out the, the comic books in the background here this is part of uh, idw's crossover that they did in 2019 with the ghostbusters and transformers to celebrate 35th uh, birthday of both franchises and um, it's really really great fantastic little run of comics um humorous some some good callbacks to transformers and to the ghostbusters movies in there they're real fun i think they've just been released in um one book as well so you can actually pick the whole thing up as one graphic novel now so i definitely recommend that you go out and do that if you don't know the history of this character and um, but during this uh comic run basically uh prime and another Autobot travel to Earth and during this time Prime becomes this version of Prime where he repaints himself to look and blend in with the Ghostbusters. So that was a brief little history about the figure itself and how it fits into everything and um, there is a a backstory for this that you can go check out and I definitely recommend that you do it's a really good series of comics nice fun light-hearted but now we're gonna get cracking on the actual review and we're gonna start as we always do on this channel with the packaging and the packaging for this is something pretty special it's really really cool they put a lot of effort into this packaging which is great and um, so you can see at the front it says masterpiece now this is the mp10 so this is the mp10 but this is an mp10g obviously g for ghostbusters and it, it's uh, it's got the logo there on the front ghostbusters 2019 x transformers more than meets the eye collaborative transformers you can see there then you can see here you've got the 35 years of the Transformers and also the, the 35 years of the Ghostbusters. So cool that they were both celebrating 35 years in the same year. Absolutely awesome. Uh, bottom, you've got a little Hasbro logo, a little Takara logo here, and then Transformers down the side. On the back, you can see here all this lovely ghostbusters and transformers logos uh all looking really cool like little traps little yellow things absolutely great side of the packaging here uh, starts to form you can see a little pipe here and then your transformers logo here and then you've got lovely green slime all over it then we get to the top that looks just like a trap and then again you've got the Transformers and the Transformers and the Ghostbusters logo there more than meets the eye lovely green slime and the trap looking huge Transformers on the side um, where it's made obviously Vietnam and then you've got the the rounded shape on the bottom barcode now the reason that this is rounded is because when you flip it the back Let's see if I can do this justice. The back is a proton pack, so no product shots on this, but you do get a fantastic looking proton pack with an Autobot logo on it, which is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this. What's really cool about this is that when you go here, so you can see these, these are the straps. These straps you can undo and you can actually wear this proton pack. So it is a wearable proton pack. Yes, it's made of cardboard, but it's wearable. All this 
material here you can if you can really pick it up here but this is all embossed embossed autobot logo and it's absolutely beautiful i mean that is just that alone the lovely looking scratched up autobot logo followed by all of the detailing for the proton pack this is the best box i think i've ever seen in my life and if you're not a box collector <laughs> which some people aren't uh, and you do throw away the boxes i would even reckon i would even think that you would find it hard to throw this superb box away but that is absolutely fantastic and um, of course with these as well you get the destructions so if we move the box out the destructions with this one um this is the first masterpiece figure that I've picked up so I imagine it's quite similar to most masterpiece destructions and um, but this one obviously has the logo the branding green slime all over it and then shows you all the steps to transform the guy but what I do like on these classic tech specs there on the back and then you get your little green slime uh, splodges all over it so all in all before you even look at the figure wow Okay, and then we get to the main event himself, and he barely fits in my booth. This guy is absolutely huge. Uh, definitely the biggest prime in my collection with the biggest trailer. And this guy is awesome. Uh, the detailing on this, the in the just the ideas and the concept of Ghostbusters just goes all the way through this and they've really taken it to the extreme I absolutely love it these two brands that I really really love and have a deep connection with uh, certainly from when I was a kid just coming together on this is just absolutely awesome okay so let's have a little look at this guy now um, have a look at the detail first of all all the wheels on this are rubber as opposed to some of the other um, primes in my collection that all have the plastic wheels these all have the rubberized wheels uh, lovely chromed out um, all over this actually there's so much chrome uh, all over this so lovely chromed out rims molded detail uh, the trailer itself obviously you've got the number for the Ghostbusters we're ready to believe you Ghostbusters logo yellow and black high vis there lovely take on the the prime um swoosh on the back i guess uh, and then the lovely green slime post up on the back uh, this isn't a decal this is molded detail here so that's absolutely amazing there as well uh, these wing mirrors they come out but they tend to fold back in they fold it look at this way they, they tend to just fold back in fairly often so yeah uh, they are what they are at the top here we have the proton pack um, which we'll show you how that works later on. Round the back, we have awesome looking doors on this guy. Uh, absolutely love these doors. Um, really, really cool Ghostbusters logo. Again, we're ready to believe you on the back and the call. Lights here, yeah, obviously they don't work, but they are red, uh, transparent plastic on the back. Same side. So this side is exactly the same apart from now you've got a Ghostbusters logo here on this side which is a decal this is not molded detail and um, proton pack at the top if I take remove the trailer here it is pretty cool uh, it's the same one you get with um, Ectotron if you have the Ectotron one um, so yeah you can see what that is um, it's just it's just the same proton pack that you get with him that detaches later on uh, well we've got the trailer in hand let's just have a little look at the trailer so bottom of the trailer uh, you can fold out the arms what's pretty cool is as the if you see here as I fold out the arms the bottom piece actually comes out on its own so that's pretty cool you don't need to like pull two bits out that folds out on its own and then you can put the trailer down um, really great detailing on this uh, the doors on this guy you can just open and open and then you can slide this out here which leaves this open for cars to go in and out 
Okay, so now we've finished having a little look at the trailer. We'll come back to that later on. But now we can have a look in more detail at the cab itself. So Prime, while he's in cab form, um, these wheels are really grippy. You know, there's no slide in that at all. Really great grippy wheels. The motion of his driving is very, very, very smooth. Very smooth um, as he moves through here. Again, the wing mirrors uh, on this that do stick out. They don't really snap into place and they do kind of just work their way back on mine. Uh, you can see on the cab, lovely blue lights. Because uh, this is the Ghostbusters version, you get the green translucent plastic on the windows, which I think is a lovely little feature. This white and red um, aesthetic that runs through the whole thing is just beautiful. Obviously with the white, he's a little bit Magnus reminiscent, but this, these red accents that run through it are just beautiful. Chromed out to the max here. Lovely chrome Ecto 35 uh, New York. So obviously 35 years, um, which is why you've got that there. And then you've got lovely chrome on the fuel tanks and then this is where the trailer clips in this is all pretty sturdy um at the back here uh lovely um lovely little uh exhausts on the back here one challenge that mine has and this is something that i am yeah reasonably unhappy with i expected a little bit more i guess but when i looked online this is um actually a a challenge that a lot of the the mp35 these mp10s sorry have is that my fuel can here doesn't connect if i connect this in the legs come apart i've tried trans transforming it multiple times and unfortunately yeah they, you can't i can't connect this in on mine so that's the first little little downside of mine a little downside there on my mp10 uh, but overall i think this is a fantastic um truck mode uh, and the trailer's great at all okay so as promised uh we bring out the trailer again to have an extra look at this trailer and um, so the reason we bring it back out is because as always with all prime trailers there's some added value with this one where we can crack it open flip down the front bits here drag the ramp out put this up here like so flip this out and we have one of prime's uh, little bases or medical lab whatever it is that you want to work on it as as a garage or anything like that but this is really really cool the base looks absolutely beautiful the, the parts where the proton pack sits i've got these little flip down bits to fill the spaces up so that it looks good it looks all in place uh hangover from the diaclone range you can lift this up and you can put little figures in there i think that the masterpiece spike fits in there as well um uh, but don't quote me on that and uh, this is the first masterpiece i've i've got uh, i don't own the masterpiece spike but i have seen that he can fit in there you've also got lots and lots of molded detail here look at this fantastic all done in the gray and the red and then more seats again, hang over from there, the Diaclone range there. But this is all looking really nice from the trailer. Um, I absolutely love the way that this looks. Uh, I don't know how on earth I'm going to be able to display all this, but it looks cool. Um, you also get the old roller uh, with this, with this being a masterpiece. So roller made to look like a Ghostbusters trap. So that's pretty cool. You've got Ghostbusters logo on the front uh, and then the trap just sits on the top there. If you don't like it, you can remove the trap, which is pretty cool. Take the trap off and then you just get roll up with the Ghostbusters logo and this bit here. Then you can flip this out and you can just flip it round and then you've got good old roller there again the roller that we're all used to seeing so that's pretty cool um i really like that roller looks great this little masterpiece roller um i love the the gray and black version and um, you know it's nice to have a different colored roller to the the blue that uh, we're used to seeing with this version you also get a little 
a little green Slimer. Uh, so he's pretty nice, he's very detailed. I said in my last video, um, the one about Ecto Tron, uh, that I didn't realize that Slimer is actually based on John Belushi uh, before he died. So that was a fun little thing that I learned while doing a bit of research for, for these videos. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the trailer itself. Absolutely beautiful, amazing trailer with this. So before we go into the transformation, as always on my channel, I think it's very important to give you a little bit of a size comparison so you can see how this guy might fit into your collection. Um, so to put him up against one of the latest primes that's come out, if we put this guy up against the Earthrise Prime, you can just see the size difference here. This guy's absolutely huge. Uh, so yeah, he's not going to scale with your Siege or your uh, Earthrise uh, line, but he he's a really, really nice big bot. Um, but to scale him up against what you should scale with really which would be Ectotron from the Ghostbusters line so this is Ectotron so this guy transforms he's also from the IDW I think he scales quite nicely with this guy um, they look really nice together on the shelf um, obviously um, they're supposed to be in the same line but I think they scale quite well considering um, this is a truck and this is the, the Ghostbusters car I think the scale here is great what I also like here is if we just remove the um, Proton pack from Ectotron then Ectotron will actually fit into the back of Prime. Just about fits into the back of Prime. So that's pretty good. That's not often uh, that we get that with the figures these days, that he actually fits in the back, but he does fit in the back of Prime. So that's, uh, that's definitely something that's pretty cool. So Okay, so now we're going to get to the transformation. So the first thing that we need to do here is make sure that these wing mirrors are in. They probably already are because they do have a tendency to go in, but just make sure they're in. Then, untap here, this light, and untap this light, and then untap the front of the front bumper here. Here. So you un -pub, un tab those and you bring these elements out to the side like so. Then after you've brought those elements out you can bring the little arms out from the side here. This will help with the transformation. And you can bring, oh, bring up the ones from the back here as well. Okay, and there we go. So we bring the whole front out like that. At this point as well, you can open up the chest and you can bring out his head. So there's the head. Leave the chest open and bring up this piece and flap down Hecto. So there we go. Then, what you're gonna do, uh, the transformation on this is really nice. You're gonna bring this bit in, this bit in, and this bit in, and this bit in. Just clip them in like that. And you're gonna roll the whole thing round to the back, like so. And just flip these out to the side. So it's like that. And then you can fold these in, bring his arms round so you can actually get them on. Which I didn't do. And then you fold everything around here. Yeah, and you fold this piece up towards the back so that it just sits in and gives him those beautiful looking abs so again flip this down up and then you can bring this piece up here clip him back and there we go there's your front of prime looking old and nice and then you so then you've got prime here uh, next thing you're going to want to do is kind of spin him round just like so, and unplug the two gas canisters. 
at the side and then unattach the legs. Then round the back here, you can pull and you can pull and then you've, you've pulled out both of his legs and then you've got a little piece here Let's lift the gas canister up again that kind of comes round and hinges round to cover up these wheels here and then the gas canister comes down and the foot opens and that flips around there and then again on the other side this piece just flips round gas canister comes down to cover the wheels and the front bit comes around here okay so now i've rejigged my camera i can finish off the transformation close his little chest to tighten everything up around here then you've got these little uh, tabs here on tab swings his hand around and then on tab and you swing the hand around here these gas canisters go there quite nice strong ratchets there and there we have our fully transformed Prime. So there we have the fully transformed Prime. Absolutely beautiful whites, blues, reds. Really nice. The greys are really, really cool as well. I think he looks absolutely stunning. Um, really really nice piece uh, let's now have a little closer look at this guy first of all let's take a look at his head sculpt so the head sculpt here is nice really beautiful I like the greys I like the different colors on it yes it does look a little bit like the bit where he dies and transforms the movie but all in all really nice the only thing I think could, that could have set this off even better would have been if they'd have maybe done some green eyes for this and um, that matched the, 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 the windscreen I think that would have been really 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 cool uh, it would have been something very different for Prime as well also these are these are rubber and um, they're not hard plastic like the rest so I really hope that they don't bend too much over time uh, we then can have a look at the chest section white uh, painted uh, note these are molded plastic blue here so they're not painted green uh, translucent windscreen open the windscreen up and you can still see the the ecto 35 through there so that's pretty cool and um, then you've got the the abs here in front of the truck all nicely chromed out white translucent red on the cod piece here then you go down to his legs lots of beautiful molded detail those chromed out hubs as well there and then molded detail for the feet his arms looking really nice, loads of molded detail. His articulated hands, we'll have a look at that in a bit. Chromed out pipes, and then we come around the back, there's even more chrome to speak of, uh, and more molded detail. Tires just sit here in the back, but overall, this guy is really, 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 really cool. Articulation and posability you get on the head, you get a ball joint, well, you get a rocker joint. Uh, full 360 uh, rotation on the head there on the arms you get full 360 and a little bit from uh, here as well and then you also get a full 360 rotation here and then you get hand articulation this bit and you also get hand articulation here and a finger articulation this finger articulation certainly on mine is extremely fragile and has popped out of the joint numerous times while i've been messing about with it so just be aware of that one uh, at the head, hips you get it some hip swivel here and you don't really get a crunch so um yeah but you do get some lovely hip swivel uh, legs you get a double knee joint on this um i have to say i do have a little bit of issues with mine kind of falling forwards when it wants to so the the articulation here is not as stable as i'd like at the hips it's very stable really good can he do a ninja kick can he do a ninja kick Ooh, can he do a ninja kick oh no i don't think he can do a ninja kick hey he can do a ninja kick of course he can fantastic he can do his ninja kick uh and you do get double articulation here just be very careful uh, then you get toe articulation 
because of the transformation and you also get some side to side articulation here as well so articulation wise he's really really good really poseable um, can hold a pose fairly well like I said but for me there's just a little bit of a challenge with the, the double articulation so another little cool feature here you can open up the chest lift up the XO35 and there is his matrix of leadership uh, matrix of leadership itself if I can just pop this bad boy out here it sticks in very well as you heard from that clunk there as it hit the floor this is metal so it's a really really sturdy um, matrix of leadership it's not a plastic one at all and um, it's made of metal really really nice matrix there uh, greens silvers on it absolutely beautiful piece um, just fits back into Prime's chest here where it stores very safely and just clips back in and then you can just shut the doors on that again so the first accessory we can take a look at is his ion cannon and um, so the RF ion cannon that he comes with is right here and um, really nice looking ion cannon um, really detailed nice silver barrel there on it you can see all the lovely detailing on that and um, what's quite cool on this is that it actually folds up and you can get it to stay like that and then it just pops into Prime's back here so that you can store it in truck mode you seal it all up and then he you don't lose anything uh, and all the parts actually stay with Prime then uh, it folds up like this but I have to say it can be a little bit flimsy this you push a button and it comes out which is pretty cool then and this is where we get to the, the issues with the hand articulation that I've found bring his hand out like this and then you've got a little tab on this that just kind of clips in to the side for when you want him to have his iron cannon and then when you close his hand his finger is like that but just be very careful because mine has been a little bit flimsy so that's how he looks with his iron cannon so another accessory that prime has is his awesome looking proton pack um his is slightly bigger than the one that you get with Ectotron uh, just because it fits into this top piece from the uh, from the trailer so you can just push that into there so it looks slightly bigger um, for the bigger figure uh, then you've got this little tab here that just tabs into Prime's back there slot that in clips in very nicely and then you've got this who's who's goes in the back and a proton of the ion cannon and suddenly he has a proton ion cannon which i think is absolutely awesome so yeah that is that is singularly one of the, my favorite looks for this uh for this figure with his proton pack there uh on the back uh looking awesome so yeah that's a uh, that's one of the accessories that comes with Prime when he's in it that you can use in Prime's robot mode. So now we can take a little look at some size comparisons. So if I bring out the uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime, we can see he is much taller than Earthrise Prime. Much, much, much taller. And then the one that he has to scale with well with really which is Ectotron uh, you can see he scales very nicely with Ectotron Ectotron being the smaller one and as a pair sorry Prime move you out the way there I think these guys look pretty damn cool together uh, and it's really yeah really nice looking figures together I think the lads so happy to actually complete this set um really really good so would i recommend this guy yeah 
100% if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, if you are a fan of Transformers, if you're a fan of uh, really individual, unique action figures, yeah, I would definitely recommend this guy. I think he's fantastic. I really looked forward to getting this guy. I had to get him on the second time. Uh, the first time somebody on eBay said they were going to send him to me, unfortunately, that sale fell through uh, so i got mine from in demand toys and he was actually on sale so there's a, a nice sale on some of these guys right now so you can get quite the bargain on this guy right now so i definitely head over to in demand toys pick this guy up so thank you all very much for checking out my channel if you like what i'm doing around here please like share subscribe uh also thank you for all the nice comments that i've had so far and all the new subscribers um Please, if you can, check out Fingers on Plastic. Uh, those guys said they're going to give me a bit of a shout out, so I've given those a chat, guys a shout out as well. Well worth checking those guys out. They've uh, just done some recent videos around WWE and figures and pop culture and things like this as well. So well worth checking out, especially their WrestleMania videos if you fancy watching it. Uh, otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Cheers for checking us out. See you in a bit. Peace. Bye. Yeah.